Good day, it's Pixie here. Today we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Now, last time, it was a bit of an adventure, wasn't it? And that adventure ended up with not as successful success as I wanted it to be. Uh, we did get some science from around uh, Elu, but we could not position a satellite or get a lander on. So today, we're going to try something else. Probe core, always good. We are going to try to build a kind of satellite, sort of a large refueling station for when we have ships in orbit and they need to refuel before taking out longer missions. I thought, hey, that's a good idea. Isn't that a good idea? I hope it's a good idea. So this will be fairly large. We're gonna get a lot of mass into space. So uh, hopefully this will all go well. Hmm. I'm just currently thinking about how many batteries. Yeah, it won't need too much. It shouldn't need too much, anyways. It shouldn't be doing too much that will require power. Besides. Bit of transmitting. We only want one of those. Very good. Now, what else would we need? We'll need maybe some science stuff. Do we need science stuff on this? Probably not, no. We should take. What should we take? Get some illuminators. So we have some light on board this ship. Let's turn that on. Can't quite tell how. Yeah, that goes all the way to the bottom, yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. We might need to adjust that as we uh, continue to expand this. Because, like I said, we are going to be refueling large ships before they go off into other things. You know what, maybe I should just make a dedicated refueling ship instead of trying to make a space station that carries fuel and then we need to refuel the space station so the Earth. It's a bit of a convoluted plan. Maybe the refueling ship would be better. So today, we're going to be building a refueling ship. Uh, I say doing a complete 180 on what I was just saying. But that's kind of what you come to expect with me. I never quite know what I'm doing until I do it. And that's kind of how all of life works for me. And I think for other people as well. Now we will keep the transmitter. One. Yeah, that should work just fine. And on the top of it, hold on, let's lower all of that. Get some RCS fuel. We don't need that much, no. That's crazy, that's way too much. Okay, so that I hope will be fine. I'm going to put some uh, of these on. This should help with stabilizing it and getting us into position to dock. Now, we uh, invested in this, the Clampertron port. But before we put that on, I think we have this. Well, it's awfully big. It's bigger than I was expecting. Um, 
That works, yeah? Yeah. Why not? So the Clappertron port. <laughs> Again, everything I make looks ridiculous. And do we really need this? When we shouldn't need to transmit anything. It was necessary for the satellite, I thought, because it could help create a shorter path for information to travel, which would result in better science. That was my thinking of it anyways. And it sounded pretty good. But now I'm thinking, you're crazy, man. Don't do crazy things like this. So I'm not going to do crazy things like that. I will do other crazy things instead. Uh, we need an engine. Let's take the skipper. All of these will be a poodle. Is that too much? I feel like that's a bit too much. Okay, so we're gonna change that out for a mainsail. Urgh, I don't know what I'm doing. I keep changing the design. That's gonna go there. Now, how are we gonna get all this into orbit? Mm -hmm. Payload. Oh, I forgot we got the uh, larger version of this. So this. There we go. Edit that fairing. that. Excellent. So now, getting all this into space. Okay, this is gonna be crazy. Um... Coupling. 270. We'll take this. And all of those will be in the main sail. Should be the skipper. We'll use the skipper for these ones. The main sail will go on the bottom of this one. Now let's run a simulation. It's just a simulation to see if this will actually get into orbit. Right after we add some struts, that's very important. We need to strut our stuff. We can never forget to strut our stuff. And those are all mounted solidly to the body, so they should need to have any struts there. Refueling. Craft. Sure, why not? Launch. Three, two, one. Oh. So this is not going quite as well as I had hoped. Oh, oh, we're doing it. Don't fall over though. Please don't fall over. Um. This isn't... Okay, okay, now, now we're going more up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We 
had to get over that tower to do it, but we're going up. Look at that tower. It looks so surprised, too. But the mainstay is about to run out of fuel. Will we keep going up when that happens? I don't know. I guess we'll find out shortly, won't we? Okay, we're now slowing down that we've lost the main sail. But we are still going up. But overall, I think... I think the simulation has been quite an eye-opener. That's what we have to do. Swap all these out with mainsails, of course. The skippers just didn't have the power. And now with that... They should be fine. I hope. This is, of course, another simulation. And up we go! <clears throat> so I will see you guys either in orbit or in the vehicle assembly building. Depending on how this goes. Okay, so reducing weight. Reducing weight. First off, let's just get rid of those. They are all very, very heavy. And as much as we need the fuel, we can't quite take that much. What we could do is stack a few of these on. There'll still be a lot of fuel. It won't be as much, so it should be lighter. I'm hopeful about this design. And again, we shall need what was it? Solar panels for a bit of power. Power, power, power. And then the RCS thruster blocks. There we go. And we shall try getting that into space. Okay. So that is a successful simulation in which we have managed to get in orbit with a fair bit of fuel remaining. You know, it's not tons. But it's quite a bit. And I'm fairly happy with that, yeah. It's not quite as good as what I was hoping for, but... Eh, what you gonna do? Besides, you know, modify the design a bit and... See if you can get even more out of it. Granted, what I got was quite a high orbit. I probably should have burned to circula circulate the, the orbit. What? what? What's that? The circulation burn. I, I should have started that earlier. Um, so maybe that would have made a difference. Ooh, what if I use these instead of these? Ooh, that could make a difference. Okay, I'm going to swap these out. And try to use these instead. And can I... What does, what does these fit? They fit. They do fit. Okay, so now we need to strut our stuff. Okay. Let's see if that gets to orbit. Okay, we are in orbit again. This time we've gone for a much lower orbit. We are having a periapsis of 87,000 and apoapsis of 100,000. And we have quite a bit more fuel. Not a massive amount, but this is much better. I'm much happier with this one. So, this refueling ship should be able to take us 
to the stars. Actually, it should be able to refuel other ships, which will take us to the stars. Over there. Maybe some over there. But, uh, we will need a ship that is capable of docking with this one. So I should design that now. Okay, Waters. So here's what we've got. I say as we're strutting our stuff. We have a very, very powerful lifting stage that should get us to orbit with no trouble at all. We have this stage, which will be the push stage. Then we have this, which will ultimately be the lander. Now, what I'm planning to do for this is... I should have done this before I added all this. I'm going to remove that. Start some problems with this, but it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm going to add to there. I will again add this to the bottom. Come on, don't be silly. There. So once this has completed its. Uh, its mission on planet, it will come up, discharge this bubbly nose cone dome thing, and should have rejoined safely with the bottom of this. I know it's a bit crazy, but it's kind of what I do. So why don't those struts connect again? Come on. Where are those struts? There? There we go. I thought I would try that configuration, but maybe not. So I will finish shutting our stuff, and we shall then carry on to the great beyond. Also, I should strut this as well. And we shall check, just to make sure this is all good. Those will fire, those will discharge. Fire. Ooh. Actually, let's have this going last. We want to keep those on for as long as possible. That will discharge. That will go up there. Not quite there, we want that one lower than that. Discharge there. Those four will activate. And so we should be able to bring this whole thing back. My god, this is an insane plan, but we're going to try it. What are we going to call this? The monstrosity. Tith. T. The monstrosity. <laughs> There's not a chance this is going to work, but I'm going to try and launch it anyways. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we do that. Before we do that, adding one every point there. That should give our refueling ship a couple of choices on where to go to dock. So let's see if I can get this to orbit. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Okay, models, here's the score. This cannot make it to orbit. It gets very close. But it just doesn't quite go there. So, what I will do in the future is, when I have a bit more money, I will add on some additional thrusters to get this further up. And hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll be adding those to this stage, by the way, the uh, push stage. So that way, when we get up, we can just go for the circularization burn. Uh, with the help of the kickback thrusters. It's a big kick to them. But for the time being, we cannot. We just don't have the money to. So off camera, I will, uh, whatever I find in here. And 
as soon as Sally and Polo over by Kerbin. Really? Alright, I, I could do that. What's the pay on it? Yeah, it's not much. But... Yeah, it's something. So I'll be doing contracts off camera. Until next time, mortals. Good night.